Hello friends, I'm Rosa, welcome. So, we're on another bookish unboxing today. I have the March Illumicrate box and I'm so excited for this. There's one of my favorite items in this in this box in another colorway that I don't have. I'm very excited to see which one they've chosen. And also, the book that is in this box, if I recall correctly, at least like the book pick, I'm pretty sure the one that I'm thinking of, looks stunning by default. So I'm very, very excited to see what they've done with it. But anyway, we'll make sure to leave links to Ava McCrate's website as well as their Instagram in the description box down below. And also to all of the artists that they feature in the box. I like doing that because artists deserve a lot of attention for their amazing work. So because you want to go check any of them out. As long as I can find them on Instagram, I will be leaving links to them. But let's get started unboxing this box, shall we? Okay, my scissors are like extremely good. I just made a huge, huge cut in the box. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, let's um, let's open it. It's also a little bit heavy. I think it was two kilo when I picked it up, so it's a bit on the heavier side as well. So we have, oh, we have, Underwater Haven layer pod? Underwater Haven? Oh, okay. We, we have the box. I'm sorry, I got, I got a little bit sidetracked. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. We have two ceramic items. That's why. <gasps> and yes, oh my god. Okay, anyway. <laughs> sorry, getting ahead of myself. But yes, the theme is fantasy. Fantasy. Yes, you see? Anyway, we're not gonna read this. We are just gonna go straight into items. Let's start with this one because this one is probably the- it's, are these post-it notes? This is probably the smallest item in the box. My nose has started to run right now. That's so annoying. <laughs> like right on top of recording. But anyway, we have these that look like they're post-its. So I'm gonna open one and check. Are they? They feel very like so- <gasps> Oh, I know what they are. Okay, they're not post-its per se. I think they're like post-its you can put in your books. So if you like to annotate instead of actually writing directly in your books, you can just write on this. Probably right before you put it in the book though because it does leave marks on the pages anyway. Not like, like indents from the pens. Do you get what I mean? But I think that's what these are for. It says, your magic is wonderful, I'll remember you. Which... Feel rings the bell, but it says beneath the waves sticky notes. They are designed by Maragona Suli Art. Oh, I've not read the book now. These sticky notes with elements inspired by in deeper waters are perfect for all the note takers out there and are transparent for easy use in your books. Please ensure care is taken when sticking into books and if reposition and to ensure no damage is done to the paper or text. Best pen to use is a ballpoint pen. Thank you for instructions. But yeah, so just write on it before you put it in the book as well. Yes. And be careful when sticky notes or my sticky tabs tend to not really... Sometimes they do take a little bit of the ink off as well, the pages, but they don't ever like ruin the pages and it feels like it's the same material, but I would still be very careful with it. Let's do the plant pod next. This is heavy. Is it gonna look because we have another one. Is it gonna be the same shape? All my plants have died, by the way, over winter. So that's sad. Gotta, <laughs> gotta fix that somehow. <laughs> They've just all said bye bye. Um, but we have, ooh, mysterious. Is that a Kelpie? It has to be, right? Because it's an underwater horse. Is that a, this is kind of creepy. Okay, so we have what looks like a Kelpie. And over here, there's some jellyfish, but also, so where is she? We have like what looks like a siren or a mermaid right here depending on what book you're reading because it could be a mermaid if you have read In the Drowning Deep for example but like it could also be a siren. But this is like pretty much, I mean okay I imagine them in a little bit more in detail but you know the mermaids in uh in in into no in the drowning deep the drowning deep i can't remember what it's called super creepy so i'm kind of like reminded of that when looking at this it says though underwater haven plant pot designed by thistle moon this plant pot features a kelpie from our book of the month and is a great multi-use item okay a kelpie and also a mysterious figure but yes, it is a Kelpie we have right here. So you can use it for various things. There's no drain in it, so if you like plant pots with drains, this won't do it. I personally don't like those. I prefer when there's no hole in the pot, <laughs> in the bottom. <laughs> So anyway, and then we have a book jacket and this one is inspired by The Adventures of Amina El-Sirafi, which stunning book by the way, gorgeous book. Yes, 
because you know with the big monster and the ship and this is stunning scenery i would maybe have wanted a little bit of a drawing of amina not gonna lie <laughs> but i love these book jackets i love the style this is pelhami i'm really bad at using them though like i'm terrible at using them but i'm so happy that i have them kraken in the deep book jacket designed by pelhami the adventures of amina al serafi inspired this stunning book jacket and the illustration features the legendary kraken as you can probably tell yes it's humongous and dangerous and when it showed up I was like Ugh. I don't love the open waters. I'm sorry. I, the camera is at a terrible angle so that's gonna have to do. But anyway. And then we have the last item. Another ceramic item. Where's my scissors? Where my sister's at? Oh what color do we think it's gonna be? I might as well tell you. It's a book pot but like I don't know what color. I don't know what the theme is underwater. I'm guessing like sea green maybe? Sea green, blue, green. They're probably sea green because they've not done a sea green. They've done a green and a blue, but no sea green. <laughs> so I'm guessing, but like we'll see. Ooh, it's not sea green. Well, depends on what you consider to be sea green. This is like, yes. Oh, yes. So we have ourselves a little, I mean, teal, but like, I you still call this sea green. It's just a very light. This is what I would call sea green, like the darker green in here, green blue. It says mythical sea creatures or legends of myth mythical sea creatures. And we have some, the motif is really, really nice. I don't really, I use these for bookmarks, but you can use them for like pens as well. A lot of different things. Here it says mythical sea creatures, the kraken, mermaids, leviathan, and then tales from the deepest depths of the ocean. We got some tentacles, probably from a kraken. Oh, there's always, or also mermaids out here. Oh, I love this color. This color is so nice. It's gonna stand out so much next to my other ones though. Because I have yellow, orange, dark red, and then pink, which does stand out a little bit compared to the others. But it kind of works because it's still like pink, you know. It has a little bit like burgundy on it, so it ties in with the with the red. This is gonna stand out next to them, but I don't really care. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I love these so much. Okay. What does it say though? Mythical Sea Creatures Book Pot, designed by Chani Nora, as always. Our next fandom neutral book pot book pot not book puck. I don't know what that is. It's inspired by all mythical sea creatures. Which one is your favorite? I have never actually thought about that. Wait, what is what is that? What is a leviathan actually? Because like I've only watched <laughs> Supernatural and it's not really a sea creature in that one, is it? I'm gonna Google quickly. We cannot have this. Leviathan. Leviathan. Is it a big sea dragon? Ooh. It does look like like that's a bit, you know. I think I think that's the sea dragon down here. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, what is it in Supernatural? Now I can't remember if I'm just remembering it wrong. I'm getting sidetracked, but like, give me a moment. All right, <laughs> they're the... <laughs> this is what I mean, like, they're not even, not even close to that. So in my head, I'm like, sea creature, Leviathan. I see like a person with teeth. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, but anyway. Yeah, very, very cool. I'm happy with these. I'm super happy with the, the book pot. And now we got the book. I think that was it, right? Yes. So, ooh, color scheme. Ooh, orange spine. Don't have a whole lot of orange spines, so let's, ooh, what, ooh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a lot of weird noises, I'm sorry. But anyway, the book of the month is A Fathom Folk by Eliza Chan, and this is a recolor of the original. I'll put a picture of it up over here. It's a little bit more like sea color schemes, like greens and blues over here. We have some Kelpies here on the side, and there's a girl with the two girls with uh, instruments as well, possibly mermaids slash sirens. We have orange spine, cool, and beautiful edges. A little bit abstract, but like. It's, it's water, as you can tell. Ooh, yes. Very lovely. What do we have in here? Ooh. Oh, is that sign signed and stamped? Okay, interesting. Oh, she comes with art on the naked cover. I have forgotten that. Look at the style. What? Oh, wow. This looks like it took ages to draw. My gosh. And also, I don't know, maybe a Leviathan on the background. Or on the back, not the background. I don't really know. Do we dare open it like this? Do we? That's that's a very pretty motif. Like that is a very pretty motif. <laughs> and this little boat, this that tiny boat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Have I mentioned <laughs> have I mentioned I hate open water? <laughs> I hate it. I can't it's so bad. I can't go near open water in games. 
I'm slightly pathetic, it's fine. <laughs> and also we have end pages that look like this. So there's, um, there's a creature and some more creatures and I don't know, but this person over here does have some things on their neck. So, you know, looks like they might possibly be able to breathe underwater. Maybe it's not a person at all. Oh, they're like mermaids, I think. They're mermaids. Yeah, I hadn't seen that it was too, it looked like it was like a, a male-shaped dolphin to me before. It's the mermaid, I think. And this book is also signed. Plus, it has a stamp, which is pretty cool. Mine is a little... Oh, it has like... No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but there's a stamp, and that's very, very cool. Something's... Why does it smell like perfume? Also, end pages are the same in the back. This is stunning. Stunning. Like, look at all that little detail on this creature. Look at all that little detail. Ugh. Very nice edges as well. Love the color combination here. It's very sunrisey over the water. As for the summary book synopsis, welcome to Tiankawi. Chankawi, shining pearl of human civilization and a safe haven for those fleeting civil unrest. Or at least that's how it first appears. But in the semi-flooded city, humans are quite literally on top, peering down from shining towers and aerial walkways on the fathom folk. Sirens, sea witches, kelpies, and kappas who live in the polluted waters below. For half siren Myra, Myra, Myra. I'm guessing that's Mira, Myra. I kind of want to say Mira. I have a not directly Anise, but Anise called Mira, so it's kind of how I want to pronounce it. For half siren Mira, promotion to captain of the border guard means an opportunity to help her downtrodden people. But if earning the trust and respect of her human colleagues wasn't hard enough, everything Mira has walked towards is put in jeopardy when Nami, a know-it-all water dragon, Fathomfilled royalty, is exiled to the city. When extremists sabotage the annual boat race, violence erupts as does the clamp down on Fathom Folk rights. Both Nami and Mira must decide if the cost of change is worth paying, or if Chenkawi should be left to drown. Okay, this debut fantasy inspired by East Asian mythology and ocean folk tales is perfect for fans of Jade City, the Bone Shard Daughter, and House of Firth and Blood. Okay, sounds like it's got a little bit of a romance in there too. This is a very, very pretty book. Very, very pretty. It's very brave of them to include orange, but I'm like, don't really see a lot of orange in my books. It's not a favorite color of mine, but I need to see more of it. I think I said that in the fairy loot. I've just noticed the book is over here, but I think I said that in the fairy loot YA, fairy loot YA unboxing as well. I want to see more orange books because I really don't get a lot of those. So it was nice to see a little bit of orange on this one. I wouldn't necessarily call this an orange book though, just saying, but. Oh, we do have some artists that we need to give a shout out. So it has, it's a royal hardback with an exclusive cover from the publisher, but it's a, it's a recolor. The end paper artwork is done by Tropical Gloom. The full color printing on the case is done by Dan Lins underscore art. And its edges here are also from the publisher. I think they're taken from, no, I don't actually know. Cause I can't find, they're not copy pasted from the cover. That's for sure. Cause I can't find the motif on there. So that's nice because I, I think that's a little bit like slight cop out when you just take something from the cover and put them on the edges. <laughs> anyway, personal opinions. But yeah. Oh, I'm covering up the book completely. I'm so sorry. I'll move for you. There you go. Anyway, but that's the unboxing for today. Let me know your favorite item. I, I mean, the only thing I'm going to have a little bit, I, I don't necessarily use these a whole lot because I don't write in my books, but I appreciate them being there. The other three items I love. So, and the book looks stunning. I can't pick a favorite. I think it might be the book pot, I think. So I'm not necessarily like full on picking, but I think it's the book pot. But anyway, let me know your thoughts though. If you've read the book, let me know your thoughts on that too. And uh, that is all I got for you guys today. So there'll be more unboxings up on the channel when I get my boxes. I still have a fairy loot adult incoming at some point, but I'll probably save that one for when I have another one because it's just a book. So we'll see about it. But um, yeah, there'll be more unboxings up. So if that's of any interest in if you, definitely consider sticking around. Or if you just like booktube, content as well. Feel free to hit the uh, subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this one, feel free to hit the thumbs up. But that is all I got for you guys today, so I'm gonna leave you to it. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!